Morning everyone, WKP here, welcome back. If you're new to the channel, check out all my other videos. If you like them, please subscribe, it'd be much appreciated. So, what we've got on today, just thought I'd do a video. Um, again, not being around for a while, training, holidays. Um, yeah, we went to um, the Norfolk Broads. Um, first time ever, boating holiday, absolutely brilliant, loved it. Um, I'll put a couple of pictures up, show you um, what we experienced, but yeah, I hope. Highly recommend it. We've really enjoyed it, and we'll be definitely going back next year. Um, just sitting around, standing around in the kitchen doing this little intro because it's uh, it's raining outside. So once it stops raining, I'll go out and do some um, filming. It's not going to be any structured vi videos today. Just sort of like a general walk around, um, chit chat, just show you a couple of things. Um, yeah, and we'll go from there. So while I am waiting for the rain, I just thought I'd talk a little bit about the dreaded flukes. Um, I've had flukes in this pond this season, all the way through the beginning of the season. Um, tried everything. Uh, Learnex Pro, uh, Fluke M, Fluke S, Fluke P, Fluke Q, Fluke Z, Fluke A, B, C, D, everything. Um, been listening to other people on various channels and that which I appreciate I love watching because you get a there's pe a lot of people out there that's got a breadth of knowledge of all this stuff um, and it's very interesting watching it and learning tips and getting new ideas um, but also I think it's about making your own ideas and trying out methods for yourself so what I'm talking about is dosages um, Listen to loads of people, they do the dosages all different ways. And I suppose it's getting that right one for yourself. Um, I listen to a lot of um, Ricky on Koi Talk, Koi Wholesales. Um, and I love listening to his, his notion on what manufacturers put on their bottles and why... In a way, you shouldn't really stick with that. Um, so this time, I've tried something different. Now, this isn't to say that you have to try it, because it could have gone horribly wrong, and it could have gone incredibly right for me. Um, I've not checked yet, because um, I only did it on Wednesday, so I'm going to leave it till probably... This is going out on probably Saturday or Sunday so I'm going to wait till then and do a, a couple of scrapes to see if it's actually worked so what I did was I bought a bottle of Flucasol never tried it before I uh, thought I'd give it a go um, had a look at the dosages uh, my, my pond's roughly 1500 gallons 1600 gallons um, but I round it off. If I'm treating anything, I round it, wind, uh, sorry, round it off to 2,000 gallons so that I get a little bit extra dosage in there. Plus it accounts for the pipes and the filter. Um, so yeah, we got that Wednesday. So I put a full dose in on the Wednesday. So we were sat there, we were talking, me and the wife, we sat there, we were talking about where we could go, whether we should wait the seven days or or what. Um, so what I said, I said, well, I'll do the, that full dose and then the next day I'm going to do an, half a dose and then half a dose after that. It came to the next day, I got the bottle out, I measured out another half dose and I was just about to put it in and I thought, sod it, I'm just going to put the whole, I'm going to put the whole second dose in. So 
Wednesday was full dose and then Thursday, late Thursday, I put another full dose in. Fish seem fine, you know. Um, I've got a big long fin in there, I'll show you later. Um, that fish is an absolute fluke boss. It's been carrying flukes for ever. Um, I did do a single treatment of it in my bowl um, one day, and that seemed to knock them back. But it still had, you know, still had a few on there. Um, but yeah, I put that dose in. But they all seem to be fine um, at the moment, and I'm going to um, do a scrape either today or tomorrow. Um, once I've done that scrape, um, I'll, I'll update you um, next time I do a video. But fingers crossed, I'm hoping it's it's sorted it out because, oh my God, it's like everybody's been suffering with uh, parasites and that. Um, yeah, it's just been a nightmare. But the fish in general, they're all healthy, swimming around, eating, you know, not had really any issues with them. Might have had a couple of knocks on them and that, but they've seemed to heal up quite well. Um, yeah, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to see if it stopped raining so we can actually uh, go outside and have a look at something else. Welcome back, guys. Well, it stopped raining, so uh, let's go and have a look at the fish. There we go, all the fish looking good, all behaving themselves. There's the big one that I said had been suffering with flukes, it's a bit of a fluke bus, but she's looking all right. Got a bit pinky on the fins, but she's been like that for quite a while, so uh, she's happy enough, so I'm happy. Garden's looking good. All the plants coming on, bonsai. Things coming into bloom, hanging baskets. All in flower now. Tomatoes are coming on. We've even got a few starting to come through, which is good. Plenty of cheese and tomato sandwiches for us, I think. The fish are all doing good, like I said, all feeding well. I've got a nice little mix in there. Um, we bought some new additions um, last week, so I'm going to do a. I might bowl them up later and, and show you what we bought. Um, we bought some lovely cracking little fish, uh, quite on a good deal as well, which is always good. But yeah, they were right, still eating the old. Uh, Sakia Kari, which we chose to use this year. So glad we did. Um, it's a lot better for them. It's a little bit more expensive, but yeah, um, well happy we made the choice to get that. So I thought I'd come in and show you um, what's happening in my little new grow on house uh, quarantine place if you if you want to. It's not the best setup. Um, I just wanted to try it, see how I got on with it. Um, I did put it in my one of my other videos. Um, yeah, it's going all right. Um, well, I think it is anyway. Um, initially, we bought five fish. Um, just sort of like bargain bucket fish just to get the filters going um, unfortunately I lost four of those and I think that was down to new pond syndrome um, we had one survive um, but once the filters started kicking we went out and bought another another five which were a bit more better quality and we've put them in here um, just to see how we can get on um, like I say we just spin you around so, like I say, 
it's only a basic setup. Um, so I've got two two little grow on vats there or fry vats, whatever you want to call them. Um, two little box filters. One's got I can't take the top for that because I need to get a shelf for this um, put up soon so that I can get to the actual filters to, cl well, to clean them out. I can move it to clean them out, but um, it's got to stay there for a while. Well, so that's got, this one's got um, sponges in, jack mat in, and then it goes into this one, which is the, uh, the moving bed. Yes. So it's doing all right, it's working. Um, it's not heated, um, but what I might think I do leading up into the winter months is, is box this off or cover it with wood and insulate it um, so it gives it a little bit more um, cover and protection but it's working at the minute um, if I don't use it as a, a, a grow on or anything I can I can still use it as quarantine tanks if anything happens with the fish um, so let's see if we can see what I've got in there. So there we go, we've got this four in there at the moment. Like I say, I lost a few. Um, but what I've got in there is starting to turn into quite a nice little fish. Um, let me see if I can, bear with me guys, let me see if I can get a couple in the net just to show you. So yeah, um, this is one of them. To me, it's looking like a bit like a, a bit of a, a ginring shower. Um, if you can prove me wrong, then comment below, let me know. So uh, yeah, it's quite a nice little fish that. You can see the ginring is really prominent on it. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty much sure that's a ginring shower. Again, this one, nice coloration on it, nice scale pattern developing on it. Not too sure what this is, is it a Matsuba, some sort of Matsuba or or anything? I'm not too sure at the moment. Um, like again, if you know, let me know down below. I've got a bit of a poet going on there, didn't it? Let me know down below. <laughs> yeah, so these are grown quite well as well. Again, um, Yeah, this is uh, turning into be about a nice little fish. Um, I don't know how long that is. It's probably about I don't know about I don't know, five centimeters or so. I don't know. But yeah, lovely little fish. So this one, again, nice looking fish. I'm um, hazarding a guess that this might be. Tancho shower or Tancho Sankey maybe more more inclined as a shower I think um, lovely fish again can't wait to see that bigger it might be a nice addition to the new pond but to the main pond so this one is the uh, surviving one from the original five that I had um, this has put a lot of weight on this though, this, is, this has grown really well. Um, I'm looking at this and because of the blue pattern on it, uh, the blue coloration of it, I'm looking, I'm thinking shishui. Um, again, if you, if you know any different to me, let me know. Uh, we would much appreciated. Appreciate it. So yeah, so... Uh, They're the fish, the grow-ons, more like trial grow-ons um, for this year. Um, I don't know what to do with them actually. I mean, I have got quite quite a lot in my pond at the moment, um, but some of these look like they could be potentially going in the main pond. Um, so yeah, um, I'm feeding them. What I'm feeding on, if you if you want to know what I'm feeding them on, I'm actually feeding them on this. So I've got Hikari staple, Sakikari um, 
colour enhancing. Um, oh God, right. Right, I've only got that left. Cool, that that worked cheap. I'm gonna have to replace that soon. And I bought some of this the other day. Um, I didn't realise how much I'd actually built to be uh, bought to be honest. And it's a uh, Medicoy Siltworm pupae. Um, the fish in the main pond absolutely love it. Now this is quite a big bag. It's a one one half kilo bag. Um, question I'd like to ask is could you feed that as your main source of food for the fish or is it too high in protein because this actually says I mean I'm liking these words here turbo growth treats for koi <laughs> yeah so if that, if that does what it says on the tin we're going to have some monsters I think um, yeah so if you could sort of like let me know your thoughts on that whether you could use it as a sole diet for your fish I don't know um, it'd be nice interesting to know yeah, so what I've done is I just take a, a pinch full of each and then put it in, in here and then I just smash it up with a hammer or whatever I do I use just to get a bit of variation in there. I've got big bits, powdery bits, so that they get a little bit of everything in there. And they seem to love it. Yeah, they're doing well on it. So yeah, so that's what I feed. Basically, that's what I feed my fry. Uh, when I say fry, my grow-on fish and the fish in the main pond. Um, that and that are their main diet and that I just use a sort of like handful of treats every now and again um, but yeah so that's what I feed my fish well back guys um, yeah so yeah if you've got any questions or any um, hints tips or anything on anything I've shown you so far with regards to the, the grow on stroke quarantine tank please let me know um, it would be much appreciated and um, every, every day is a school day as Andy says um, so yeah um, if you've watched my previous videos you'd, you'd know I'd mentioned um, that I was looking to buy a better filter for my system because um, the one that I had um, it was working but it was sort of like it was it was on borderline the capaci capacity of what it was supposed to be um, filtering so I was looking for a new filter for absolutely ages. The ones that I wanted were miles away. Um, people wanted two, what, absolutely loads of money um, for them. So it was ca case of like, I'll, I'll stick with the one that I've got and I'll wait until one comes up. Um, a few weeks ago, um, I see one not too far away from me and the guy only wanted 50 quid for it. So, luckily, the next door neighbour, he's, um, he's just started man with a van uh, business. So, he did me a bit of mate rates on it. Um, so, we went and got it. So, in and all, it cost me, I don't know, less than 100 quid to go and get it and buy it. Um, and it's, <laughs> it, it was funny because I put I'll put a picture up or I'll, sh I'll show you um, when we put it next to the one that I got oh my god it was the size of it size difference was unbelievable um, so yeah so I kind of like I wanted to do a video when I was installing it um, it took me a few weeks to actually start installing it because of like I said well, work I've been on training courses and um, uh, been away on holiday um, so a couple of weeks ago I did actually fit it um, and it went better than what I thought I thought I was going to have nightmares with it but it was you know I think I thought it was going to be a straight fit well it was uh, one in one out um, I didn't really have to buy anything or tinker with anything the only thing that I had to buy was um, a couple of rubber connections and a, a four inch 90 um, to go from my bottom drain into the filter um, so what we'll do is we'll go outside um, I'll show you the filter show you how I've got it set up and yeah we'll go from there
Yeah, so here we are guys. There she is. It's a Vortex 30,000, so it's capable of... Um, let me just take that off. Oh, bear with me. Sorry about that guys. Uh, no one can do anything one-handed. Well, it depends what you're doing, but that's another story. Um, so yeah, it's a Vortex 30,000. Um, I think it's capable of doing up to ponds up to about 19,000 litres, 20,000 litres. Um, got Vortex and three bays. Um, took me ages to decide um, what setup I wanted to do, but luckily I came across some old bloke was selling he got rid of his pond and he was selling loads of jack matting and i got absolutely loads of it i mean that 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 in there is full of jack matting that in there is full of jack matting and over here i've just got bags and bags of it there all for 20 quid more than what i needed but I can get rid of that later on if I want. So yeah, so that's how I've got it set up. Um, need to clean it out today actually. I've got to clean it out because I'm going away on another course. So I need to clean it out before I go. Um, so yeah, I've got jack matting in there. That's that's mechanical. Brushes in that one, that's mechanical. And I've got jack matting here, which is biological, using that for biological. And then I've got my moving bed here. Um, but at the moment, it's got about, I don't know, I'd say 15 litres of K3 in there. Um, I have got another bag, which is here. which what I've been doing over the past few days is every night, every day, I just chuck five handfuls in just so that it can easier for it to to mix and uh, mature and yeah, so that's my new filter. Um, like I said, it it was better, easier to fit than what I thought it was going to be. So basically, all I had to do was I had to put take this off the original one, and it it was about that much narrower. So I had to cut down there, extend that, and put a straight piece in there. Um, kept all this so that just fitted the UV just fitted straight back on to there um, the only ad adjustment I had to make was here this has got to go round there which goes you can see down there which go return back into my pond well it would go into my pond it goes it goes up here and then and then into my packing shower. Um, yeah, I had to bring it all the way around because where where it's going into the pond there is obviously where this was. So I had to re I had to reroute that. Um, and then yeah, and then the I had to move the ball valve, which was a schoolboy error from when I first fitted it. I had it. On my old filter was well down, well down there because how short it was. The end of the vortex started here, started about here. But yeah, the ball valve was, you know, it was, it was a mess. It was, um, but this is a lot better now. I've put the ball valve there, and I've just got a straight um, four inch ninety onto there. The water flow is a lot better. So, yeah, so that's the filter set up. If you guys have got anything different that you could uh, 
suggest or works better, um, let me know. And I'll take all comments on board. Um, yeah, please comment on my videos. I um, don't, don't seem to be getting a lot of comments. So not that I'm bothered. I'm, I mean, you know, it's down to... You know, it's, it's down to you guys at the end of the day. Um, but we're all a community. And, you know, we'd all like to learn off each other, as they say. Um, so... I don't know if there's anything else really what what I've been doing. Um, I don't know if it's a good thing or a bad thing that you don't have to do a lot in your pond. Um, I know you like to sit and enjoy it, but I think people like to be interactive with their ponds as well because it makes them feel like, you know, for me it does, it makes me feel like I'm part of it. Um, that's why I've got that one. That's why I've got a multi-bay filter. Um, that's why I've got a multi-bay filter because I love tinkering with it. And it might sound funny, but I do like cleaning it out and you know getting my hands mucky with it. Um, but yeah, um, oh, that's what I wanted to show you. Um, I came home the other day. Let me get out. Yeah. I came home the other day. And uh, I walked out into the garden. I'll just go here a minute, guys. Yeah, I walked out into the garden and I thought, whoa, there's something strange here. And I got a nice little surprise on the doors of my uh, filter house and my shed. Um, they are absolutely beautiful. Um, my lovely wife done them for me. Um, she's done a brilliant job on them. And for what they are, you, you wouldn't think you'd, they, you, you, I just sort of like gobsmacked how nice they are. So come on, let's go and have a look and I'll show you what they are. Yeah, here we go. So yeah, here we are guys, there they are, there it is. That, believe it or not, is paint by numbers absolutely beautiful I don't know what paint it is that she uses on there it feels like some sort of like oil based paint or whatever but look at that how that beautiful that is I think what I might do is get get a proper frame for it so that in the winter months I can stick them in the filter house but yeah so there's that one and then if we go around here look at this one Absolutely beautiful, look at that, look at the colours on it. Look, she even thinks she's a bit of a Banksy, look, she signed it. But yeah, um, she's taking orders. If you want one, just let me know. No, I'm only joking. I'll run it through her first. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, like again, I'm going to make a frame for that and put it in a frame so that it protects it or so I can put it away in the winter so yeah so that's a a nice little thing that I got for my wife just well I think that's it guys um, not much more to report um, for now um, I'm going away next week on the ho uh, holiday okay. on, a, on another course back um, Thursday night um, so yeah uh, see what next week brings for another video but what I'll finish on today is I will um, give big shout out to all my subscribers that have stayed with me um, if you know anybody that might be interested get them to watch my videos get them to subscribe um, and what I'll leave you with is I think I'll bowl up my new additions and uh, I'll show you them okay and that'll be the last thing and then I'll do my good bot yeah so I'll quickly bowl them up let you have a look and uh, I'll catch you in a minute
Welcome back guys. So yeah, as promised, bold these up just so that we could give you a look at the newest additions to the pond. Four lovely little fish there. So we've got two, we've got a shower, a shower, and then we've got two lovely little sankies there. Um, got a good deal on them from our local koi dealer. Um, so yeah, they weren't the easiest to catch. It took me a while, but they're in here. Um, we've had a look. Uh, yeah, let me know what you think of them, guys. Um, I mean, we got them about three weeks ago, and they must have at least put a centimeter on each, easy. Um, especially. Especially this one here. This is huge. This one. Oh, potential that. Oh. Nice body on it. Lovely little fish. I love the coloration on this shower here. Oh. No, I don't I love it. Yeah. So there's the new additions. Just thought I'd. Uh, share those with you like i say let me know what you think um and yeah 